Hi everyone, Ben Bruce, all the Active Schools here. Today I'm going to be helping you play a different game at home. So what we're going to do today, we're going to create an indoor bowling alley. So what we need for that is a bowling ball, some space for the actual bowling alley, and then some pins to knock down as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to grab some pins. So for all this, we're just going to use household objects. So what I've found for my pins, I'm just going to show you here. I've just got a few different bottles, deodorant cans, shampoo bottles, juice bottles, as you see any of these things will work. Okay? You want to get some that are usually like the same size, as you see most of mine are the same size, some are a little bit bigger but that's okay. So you don't want to get full bottles, okay? You can get bottles that have a little bit in it, just like that, okay? because they need to be able to fall down. If they're too heavy they're not going to be able to fall down. Okay, So those are our pins, so see if you can go find any. If you can get nine, that's perfect. If not, grab six at least. We need at least six to do this. Right, okay, so now we've got our bowling pins. The next thing that we need to grab is a bowling ball. So again, it's gonna be a household object, something that's soft and won't cause too much damage. So what you're gonna grab is a full toilet roll. Okay, we don't want one that's been already started because then it will unravel when we use it. The next thing that we're gonna to need to do is find our own little space to create our bowling alley. I've actually almost got like a little natural bowling alley in my flat because I have this corridor just here so as you see just here I've got that little straight down there so that's the space that I'm going to use for this so once you've found that space what you're going to want to do is take four big steps just to measure out so I'm going to take one two three four that's a great little starter to have okay if you want to take more space that's fine okay so now that we've found our little space for our bowling alley the next thing that we're going to need to do is show you how to set up your bowling pins, whether it's with six or with nine. Okay, so that's the next thing that we'll do. First off, I've got six set up for you, so you can see what it's like with just the six, and then I'll show you what it's like with the nine. Okay, so this is how you're going to set it up with the six, okay? So as you see, I've got six bottles there. So what I'm going to do, so you see I've got three at the back, so one, two, three. I've got two just in front of it, and then one at the very front. So the key to this is you're going to put three separate at the back, just a little bit between each other. And then for the next row, you're going to set it up in the middle. So you see how this one's in the middle of those two? So you're going to put it a little forward from the back line and just in the middle of that. And the next one, you're doing the same. So it's going to be in the middle of these two, just a little in front. Okay. And then this front one, again, is in the middle of these two and it's at the front. So there you go. That's your six bowling pins set up there okay and now i'll show you what it's like for nine so here's our setup for the nine pins okay so what you're going to need instead of having three at the back it's going to be four at the back as you see here so you've got the one two three four you're going to have three in front of it two in front of those three and one at the very front again so you're creating a little triangle just like that okay and that's our that's our nine pin setup okay, you've got your bowling ball you've got your bowling alley and you've got your bowling pins so you're ready to go so I'll tell you a few rules for the game and then you'll be ready to start. So with bowling, each player gets two shots to try and knock down all the pins. Okay, so I'll just show you now. So this will be my first shot. So there was my first shot. I knocked almost all of them down. So I'll remove the ones that I've just hit and then I'll come back to try to hit the rest. And there's my second attempt, okay? I didn't hit all of them down, I missed two, so that means I would've got seven for that round, and that was my first round. So there's 10 rounds altogether. Use the scoreboard that I've attached to it, and that's a great way to keep track of how many you get overall. When you're bowling, you want to make sure that you try to keep a straight wrist here, and you just bowl and keep a straight arm, and make sure you put it flat down. So if you put it on the side like that, it's gonna curl away to that side, if you put it on the side like that it's going to curl away to that side so make sure you have a straight arm you put a little bit of power on it and see what you can do and there we go that's your indoor bowling alley i hope you have a ton of fun with it get the whole family involved uh use the score sheet that i've attached to the video um that's the best way to keep track of all the pins that you get and send us a picture as well we would love to see where you've created your indoor bowling alley